We are about a fifth of the way through the 2019-2020 NBA season, and things this season are a lot different than they were last season. Of course, we had that crazy offseason, and so many players went to different teams. But if you had not watched basketball since last year and looked at the NBA Western Conference standings, you would not believe the teams that were in last. Currently, the Warriors are 15th in the West with a record of 3-14, and and in fact, they have the worst record in the entire NBA. The Trailblazers are 14th with a record of 5-12, and, and the Thunder are 13th with a record of 5-10, and making these three teams the three worst teams in the Western Conference. And the crazy thing about this is that these three teams were serious title contenders last NBA season. So I thought it'd be a good idea to put these three teams together, combine all their talents, and see if they could win an NBA championship together. Now, the reason the Warriors are doing so bad is due to injury. They got, they got their two best players injured right now, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. The Trailblazers don't have Yosef Nurkic right now, and the Thunder lost their two superstar player. So for this team that we created in NBA 2K20 of the three worst teams in the West combined, we will not be including any players that have a long-term or season-ending injury. So Nurkic, Klay Thompson, Stephen Curry, all will not be on this roster. So checking out our team, we got Damian Lillard, D'Angelo Russell, Chris Paul, CJ McCollum, Draymond Green, Shea Gildress Alexander, Gallinari, Steven Adams, Hassan Whiteside, Eric Paschal, Willie Cauley-Stein, Dennis Schroeder, Nerlens Noel, Kevon Looney, and Carmelo Anthony. So this is going to be our squad. I did change around players' positions a bit because we had way too many shooting guards and point guards. So I moved down D'Angelo Russell to a shooting guard, and then I moved Shea to a small forward and Gallinari to a small forward as well. And then if we check out our starting lineup, we got Lillard, D'Angelo Russell, Gallinari, Draymond Green, and Hassan Whiteside starting. Then we got Chris Ball, CJ McCollum, Shea, Steven Adams, and Eric Pascal as our backups. Uh, so this gives us a pretty good starting lineup and a backup lineup as well. And I think this team is going to do very well this NBA season. Leave a comment down below. Do you guys think these guys are going to go undefeated? And also, do you think they're going to win an NBA championship? Let's just head into the season and find out. Also, we are going to be turning off injuries. That way, they do not affect the season. All right, so we made it to the end of the season. Let's see if any of our players ended up getting any awards. The team ended up going 55 and 27. So a pretty solid season for them. Obviously, they did not go undefeated. John Morant with Rookie of the Year. Chris Paul getting Sixth Man of the Year. So our first player with an award right there. Of course, he is our backup point guard. Uh, so good for him. 15.3 points per game, 6.6 .6 assists, which is actually very good. Uh, for being a six man for backing up Damian Lillard he's putting up some really good numbers and we do not get any other awards for our team let's see if anybody made it on the all NBA teams nobody on the first team nobody on the second team and nobody on the third team either maybe defensive teams and we got Draymond Green on the all defensive second team uh, so Draymond's still doing his thing on defense but checking out these standings, the Western Worst are third in the West. They are no longer the worst in the West. They end up going from the three worst teams to the third best team in the Western Conference. Uh, so really good right there. Lakers, Rockets with better records. I think this team would be able to beat the Rockets, but I think it'd be a hard challenge for the Lakers and the Clippers. Coming over to our player stats, Damian Lillard going to be our top scorer, 22.3 points per game. Then we had D'Angelo, CJ, and then Chris Paul. So interesting here. Uh, our backup's doing very good as well. Our two starting guards having the most points, and then our two backup guards, the next two best scorers, which is kind of interesting that they actually uh, did so well despite being backups. Rebounds per game goes to Son Whiteside, 12 boards per game believe he is the backup to Steven Adams. Assist per game goes to Chris Paul. Steals, Draymond. Hassan Whiteside ends up being sixth in the league for blocks per game. So that's really our only person in the top 10. And then Chris Paul is also ninth for three-point percentage. 
I'm going to go over here to team stats as well to see how our team did in terms of scoring and defense and all that compared to other teams. Points per game, they end up getting the sixth amount of points per game. Points allowed, they're actually one of the best defensive teams in the entire league. The sixth best defensive team and the sixth best offensive team. Looks like they're doing pretty good. Second best field goal percentage in the NBA. The best three point percentage in the NBA. They're kind of in the middle for rebounds per game. Assists per game is the best in the league. Steals per game, they're 10th. Ducks per game, they're right in the middle right there. They should be able to make the Western Conference Finals. They should be able to beat the Spurs and then the Rockets in the second round. Let's go ahead and find out the Spurs taking a 1-0 lead. There we go. Our team tying it up. The Spurs with a 2-1 lead. There we go. Our team ties it up yet again. 2-2. Two to two. And the Spurs with a 3-2 lead. If our players lose in the first round, that is going to be kind of embarrassing. They should be able to beat the Spurs here. And we are all tied up in game number six. Our worst teams need to win this. They want to move on to the next round. CJ McCollum inside for a nice layup to take a two-point lead. That yellow color is very hard to actually see the score. So we have a minute left in game number six. Our team, our three worst teams combined are up by two points right now, and they need this win to actually move on to the next round. A big stop there by Hassan on DeMar DeRozan. Let's see what they're gonna do on offense here. We got a few of our backups in. Chris Paul getting inside to Hassan. White side, he misses, gets his own board, and the second chance points are good. Hassan Whiteside coming up clutch at the end of the game here. So we have a lot of guards on the court right now. We have a bunch of guards and then Hassan Whiteside, which is interesting. Whiteside with another block, though. He was going off here, and that might have just secured the W for our three worst teams. DeRozan getting inside. Whiteside with another block. 14 seconds left. That just finished it there. Whiteside balling out at the end of this game and they're going to force a game number seven game number seven and the three worst teams end up beating the spurs they did have the home court advantage and they got a pretty easy w in game seven and they are moving on to the second round and check this out the lakers get upset by the pelicans which is pretty insane uh, but the rockets up next for our three worst teams and let's see how they do against the Houston Rockets. Rockets take a 2-0 lead early on. There we go. Finally, they get a game tying it up 2-2. Two to two. Rockets with a 3-2 lead now. The same position as they were in against the Spurs. The Rockets getting ahead here. Now our three worst teams taking a pretty big lead here in the fourth quarter. And they're going to win this game to force another game seven this time against the Houston Rockets. The Rockets are going to get home court advantage here. And this is to make it on to the Western Conference Finals. And game number seven is a blowout for our three worst teams, winning by 22 points. And they are moving on to the Western Conference Finals. Going to be facing off against the LA Clippers in the East. We got Brooklyn facing off against the 76ers. Let's see if our team can move on to the NBA finals and win a championship they are up 2-1 they're up 3-1 now and an easy 4-1 victory over the LA Clippers it's going to be the three worst teams in the west right now facing off against the Philadelphia 76ers for the NBA championship the 76ers taking a lead but our team of the three worst teams tying it up and the three worst teams getting a W against the 76ers so we are yet again going to another Game 7, the third Game 7 for our team in the playoffs. Let's see if they can defeat the Philadelphia 76ers. Both of these teams are the third seeds in their conference, so I'm kind of interested to see who will actually get the home court advantage. I believe it is going to be the three worst teams since they did have more wins this season. And despite having home court advantage, they are down by nine points with only a minute left in game number seven so it looks like our team of the three worst teams in the west are gonna end up losing this game right here they do have a few backups in the game right now no lillard no cj in the game 
Let's see if they can get a defensive stop here. They're down by seven, so it's still possible. But it's going to be tough. And Embiid inside Hassan Whiteside drawing the foul there. Smash the like button if you do like the jersey and court for this video, though. All right, they needed like a three or something right here. They're down by nine yet again. Here's Chris Paul inside, blocked by Ben Simmons. That was an awful shot. Gallinari inside. That's a brick, and I think that's going to be game right there. A huge choke in game number seven with the home court advantage. The three worst teams combined not able to win an NBA championship. Losing to the best team in the East. So a little unfortunate for the team right there. Joel Embiid getting finals MVP. But it was just so close with them throughout the entire playoffs. Three game sevens out of the four games. And then they just destroyed the Clippers four to one. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. This has been your boy Smeekle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and double. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money.